that's really cool Stealing words from you know who Playing gigs when we can Trying to impress our fans Older sister goes berserk Her temper is her biggest perfect On a plan that might just work now When you said you had something cool to show me, I figured it'd be better than gum-flavored gum. Gross! But it's so good. I wish Cory was here to try it. Where is he today? He's probably out doing something totally rad. Yeah, Cor's always totally upbeat. Whoa, Cor, where you been? I was stuck in an elevator, and I had to listen to 41 and a half minutes of elevator music! Yeah. Hmm, as I suspected, your eardrums have experienced trauma, and your head looks really angry inside. Elevator music has been lame for too long, and it's time we fixed it. Yeah! Right? You can't just fix elevator music. Rocklore tells us it's evil for a reason. Brother, shall we illuminate? We shall! Elevator music is born in the underworld, sent up into elevator shafts to torment humanity. This dark magic is the work of the Button Keeper, an evil monster. And the only way down is to summon the Nether Vader by chanting a magical incantation. So, what's the chant? You know, just so I don't accidentally say it. Nope, there's no way you'll make us say, going down, basement floor, lovely weather we're having. <gasps> The Nether Vader! See? It's a sign! It wants us to fix elevator music! Quick, grab the gear! Poor, riding a haunted elevator we had to summon to go to the underworld seems risky, doesn't it? Thanks, Lanes. I'll take that under advisement. Watch your step! Time to <gasps> rock the underworld! Now, which button do I press? Hmm, this one with the fiery skull seems promising. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, if we're riding this thing to our fiery end, I want to have fun! This is gonna take a while! Ugh, I just want to trap me and Nick Mallory together somewhere so he'll fall in love with me in junk. Why is this so hard? Mina! Yuck! What happened to your face? I'll just push Nick into this huge web and he'll be mine forever. Now to test it. Mina! Oh, yay! Success! Ooh, there's Nick! Nick says the bird-watching badge will complete his cool scout sash. Oh no! He's leaving! BRB, Mina! Total web fail! Idea! No! Uh, you could use that elevator and trap Nick in there. I have an elevator? <gasps> it's the perfect place to trap Nick! We'll totally be able to hear our hearts beating together and stuff! So, how about the sports game? Yep. Oh, yeah. Good game. Wow, this place is a real doomed for eternity vibe. Let's not get trapped in here forever. Cool? Cool. But where is everybody? I am everybody! Ah! The name's Otis. Welcome to my fantastic kingdom of rock and fire. You're the button keeper? Dude, you look so different in our fantasy. Rawr. <laughs> it's probably this dazzling hat. You can't intimidate us. We're here to tell you that elevator music is lame. And if the truth were known, it's you have a dozen. It is lame. Hmm, I thought I'd have to fight you on that. Uh, whatever. We came to make it rock! So you can forget about making any more elevator tunes. No, oh, this isn't where elevator music is made. No, no, no. This is where I trap it for all eternity! <laughs> Need, huh? Facts are hazy in rock lore. Uh, Otis? Seems I was misinformed. My bad. We'll just head home now. Sorry to bother you! It's taking you a while to press that button, huh? I know, right? There. So, finally. Ah! Yes! Now, how do I get Nick to stop chasing birds and start chasing getting trapped with me? Trina's got an evil plan! Nick can't believe he's watching a rare feathered follower from the suspiciously placed elevator. 
What a pretty bird. Pretty? That's it! Show's over! Hold the door! <laughs> Hi, Nick. How do you like my new very own elevator thingy? Nick thinks that elevators are the perfect metaphor for the ups and downs of life. Super totally yay and stuff! So our ride seems to have left. Is there another way out of here? Short answer, no. Long answer, also no, but much more delightful. It was 1857. I got a job on the very first elevator. Which floor, Mr. P. Penny? Just roll the dice, good man. I'm feeling larkish tonight. But within that magic box was a horrid sound, and my good fortune turned to good unfortune. I heard it when I worked, ate, and slept, and eventually, Ooh, it changed me into a big sourpuss. I knew then it was my duty to trap and kill elevator music forever. But you keep putting more elevators in shafts, which creates more elevator music, which makes me mad. Well, since we don't play elevator music and you're scary when you're mad, we would just like to get going. Well, if my nether vader brought you here, you must be elevator music. And I can't let you leave until you prove you're not. Gear up to rock, guys. Ooh, I'm excited to hear lyrics again. Play me a song with lyrics and you imps are free. Uh, we sort of misplaced our lyrics. No lyrics? How wonderful! You are elevator music! Now you're trapped forever, and I have friends! <laughs> trapped forever is exactly what I said we shouldn't get! Oh no! Looks like we're stuck in here! Just you and me! Privacy! <laughs> Now to hear our two beating hearts on the first day of forever. Um, that's three heartbeats, Mina. <laughs> Yay! So romantic forever. Your job is to push these into the lava. <laughs> oh, you'll be so happy for eternity here. It's a marvelously awful existence, and we get to spend it together. So, on a scale from one to doomed... <laughs> Wait, what was that awful sound? <laughs> oh, Nick, our hearts sound like songs played on drums made of meat! Trina is stuck in the nether vader with Nick? She must be loving it. <laughs> well, not for long. If we're gonna get the lyrics we need to prove we don't play elevator music, we're gonna have to play some elevator music. Is there anything cooler than hearing our love thumps in a box? It hurts my soul. This garage band elevator jam is for Trina and Nick. Corey! And don't worry about it stopping. We're here for eternity. Full disclosure, Nick Mallory does not love elevator music. <laughs> Nick will be waiting over here forever. Ugh! I'm stuck in this box with my brother's music! <laughs> little not elevator music why am i trapped inside this box can't find a way out can't open up these locks my buttons get pushed it makes me start and then i stop Box straight to the top. I'm busting out of here. I've had enough, and I'm going to escape to where you can't permeate my brain. I'm busting out of here. Not looking back, I'm going to the top. Let's go! 
Nick's going back to something he understands. Birds. Birds like cages. Cages trap things. Mina, to the cage store! Gotta admit, Core, it was cool to make elevator music rock. Dunno, Lings. It's not a good idea to try and change something for the better. Things are terrible for a reason, and making them better may make them worse. The elevator in your soul goes all the way down, and you get trapped down there. A monster in your own mind. Did Otis die? Thanks for coming out, everyone! Guys, remember when this riff wasn't all we heard ever? Because I don't. I started and finished my first novel. It's about a guitar riff that bores everyone, wait for it, to death. Ugh, this couch is going to have an epic butt print. Or my butt's going to have an epic couch print. Either way, it's lose-lose. So close! Just one, no, 19 more tries. Core, the rest of us need to practice too. The peace-filled dam is almost finished. And those beavers need a wicked tune to honor their hard work. So I says to him, haters gonna hate, beavers gonna beave. <laughs> <laughs> and how better to honor top-notch woodwork than with a wicked axe solo? Ah! <laughs> uh, if only I had an instrument that could play no wrong. <gasps> like, like the, the flute, flute of Rock Lippus! This magic flute played the greatest riff ever riffed. It turned Nerdesius, god of unpopularity, into a rock titan! The flute was always perfect. Perfectly evil, you see? Oops, let me try that again. <laughs> ah, where'd the wood chipper come from? Those construction beavers left it lying around like they didn't need it because of their giant teeth or whatever. Finders Trina! Core. Are you okay? You must feel... Correct! Excited for a new guitar! So, how much do we have in the band fund for a solid gold axe? 94 cents. And half a pack of gum? I was gonna yell awesome, but that just wouldn't make sense now. To the peaceful flea market! You can't get real fleas there! There's got to be a great guitar here somewhere. Why buy a guitar when you can buy a bunch of stuff with heads of bobble? Bobble Barney does custom jobs. <laughs> no thanks, Barney. We'll never make enough money selling your lame treasured possessions. Who treasures books? Especially ones titled Wah. Uh, are you kidding? Wah <laughs> is a book about the wackiest happenings in Peaceville history. For instance, did you know the Great Avalanche of 1899 was caused by a tuba solo? Wah? History. So, yesterday. I wish history, like, never happened. Then I could erase the worst experience of my whole life. <laughs> Nick! Want to split a sugar shack, extra cold milkshake after school? You pick the flavor. Hmm. <laughs> Nick Mallory's all about dental hygiene this week, so he's going to have to shake his head no to that offer. <gasps> I got it. When we make enough cash selling your stuff, I'll buy my custom Nick bobblehead, totally voodoo doll it, and make him say yes forever! Also, remind me to learn voodoo. What do you have that's really, really cheap, but still the best? Does that table have a basement? <laughs> huh, I could have sworn there was a tuba in that tuba case. Oh well. Bit tight, and it gives me nightmares, so I couldn't let it go for less than 94 cents. Keep the gum. Gum! One, two, three, four! We sound awesome! You mean you sound awesome. Come on, guys, let's just jam. I couldn't stop. This guitar wants to be played. So did our instruments. Corey, cut it out. I can't. Are you for real right now? It's the guitar. It feels angry. It's like it hates other music. Then get rid of it.
Ugh, it looks like it's not coming off! I think it's time to test Treble Cliff's no return policy. Ah! Whoa! That guitar does not want to go anywhere. Can you blame it? It's like 10 blocks back to the flea market. Head back and find out what this guitar's deal is. Try not to get into too much trouble with that thing. <sighs> Did you say something? All other instruments must what? Tie? Oh, die. Wait, how can I understand you? Hey, where are we going? <laughs> you monster! Those are soothing. Yeah! What'll it be, kids? <laughs> Keeping ice cream from kids? You're more evil than bagpipes. Okay, Newmans, let's jam. <laughs> okay, that was fine. Only because I hate the Newmans. But you can't just destroy every instrument in town. Oh, yeah? How? Oh, when that dam comes down, every instrument in Beastville will be destroyed. And on a side note, we'll all be dead. Oh, that's how. And it might actually work if I was going solo. But I've got a band, and they always back me up. Like I said, thought it was a tuba. Not good enough, Cliff. Try again. I didn't think it was a tuba. It's real risky to lie to me, Cliff. Con, check it out. Whoa! It's the tuba that Avalanche Peaceville! Hey, Corey's guitar has that same blue star on it. Like the flute of Rock Lupus. It hated other music so much, it crumbled the mountain. And the bassoon that killed Peaceville's dinosaurs. And the Peaceville Triangle. This thing has been around forever. And now it's Corey's guitar. I swear, I just found it buried in the snow on Mount Peaceville. Please. You're turning my stomach, Cliff. I want this book. Name your price. Sold. I gotta quit telling people to name their price. You realize we could have gotten a not evil guitar with that money? I got nothing. Cliff won't talk. Corey's guitar is evil and will destroy the town. It's in a book. Guys, you can't believe everything you read. Oh, no! Corey says his guitar is evil and is trying to destroy the Peaceville Dam. Oh, so we're going to believe everything you read. Corey has to break that guitar's hold on him. But this thing just makes people play what it wants. Then Corey needs to play what he wants. We need lyrics so he can stand up to it. He has to say no. He has to say yes! Well, as you can see, you've come to the right place. Hey, something tells me that making that doll say no to Trina will put her on a bus to Diary Town. Yes, yes, yes! Nick's gotta say yes! Okay, okay, I get it. Now let me just put a head on him. Ow! Lousy heads! Quick, grab a no head. All done! Here's your uh, creepy dreamboat bobblehead. Nick, do you want to have a hand-holding dream with me in a castle? A better dream, then? Any dream? <gasps> so, you'll just love me super the most when we're awake? Am I like, whoa? Am I prettier than Mina? You can't! would make it. I won ten bucks. Khan didn't think you'd still be alive. Way to wrap me out, dude. Core, you gotta use these lyrics to overpower that guitar before it destroys all of Peaceville. Shh. You had me at Corey. You're the greatest. No, I won't play. Not today. I hear your voice laughing like I have no choice. You're calling me, but no, I won't play I know you'll try to hold me, but I'm still free Yeah! <laughs> ah, I'll get you, I know you're 